Okay. Uh, we are in, in Orlando. Um, full disclosure, I did come through here earlier. Oh, uh, by the way, welcome back. Episode 15, here we go. This is Anna Orlando. Uh, we're not going to be doing a whole lot in here, but we are going to try and unlock a few things. We're going to skip those chests for now. There's a chest behind those guys. And uh, there's also going to be a chest in the other room, too. Chest or two. Uh, we're going to skip those for now. We're going to wait till we're a little bit better leveled up. Got our first bonfire. Alright, so starting from this bonfire. Assuming you went that entire path. Uh, and unlocked the way forward. I'm not going to do that again, but it's pretty straightforward. You just get into that building. Once again, I will show you the path to get the the route unlocked. I'm not going to take the entire path, though, because it's a big pain in the ass if I die. But I have to go all the way back, so... Yeah, anyway. What you do, drop down here, get on that platform there, all the way up, and then there is a uh, broken window right there. You just go through that, and uh, you proceed to unlock the entire path. So basically you end up, after you do all of that nonsense, uh, you end up sort of down there. There's a switch. Once again, I'll show you. That switch right there, uh, press it. That brings, uh, it rotates this so it goes down. You can come up and you rotate it again. And, uh, or no, it's, it's down, it's down by default. So you just press the switch, uh, you get on the platform, rotate it, it comes up, and, uh, boom you have the bridge unlocked. Also, there will be a gargoyle fight. These gargoyles are cool. Uh, you kill them, and uh, basically you get what you never got the last time you fought the gargoyles. Whatever it was that you missed, you get. So, uh, pretty sweet, and uh, well worth doing. So anyway, on with the, uh, the playthrough. I had to do a little bit of farming uh, to get The other one's after me now. No, 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 he's not. Okay, I hit you. Where's your draw distance? Is it there? They drop a lot of souls, uh, especially early game. Well, this is like mid game, but yeah, they drop a lot of souls. Let's make sure we get all healed up here. This isn't uh, open from this side, but as you can see, there's nothing good on the other side of that door. Alright. Now I'm gonna cheese the first one, if I can. Hey, I got the other one 
too. Pretty good. Question is, which one will attack me first? So, there is an archer up there that fires giant arrows. There is also another archer uh, up there that does the same thing. Yeah, see? Here it comes. And they home in on you. That's, that's the real bitcher of this. A safe spot. So, uh, I took half of Paris. Give me. For Tucker, I will. Don't have a few. Just keep my name. Come on. Oh, it's a little bit of 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 but poison is extremely powerful in this game. So, once you got up here, you'd have to, like, dodge roll through the arrow in order to get up here. And then you'd be lucky if you killed the guy before he killed you. So, it is what it is. Do it however you like. Okay, so he wants to assist me. Uh, what I'm doing is I believe Maybe. Yeah. Ah, I do. We're following. Well, there's a couple of things in this place uh, that are interesting to note.
One of them being the amazing amount of these Black Knights. They're just everywhere. Not a mimic. Sunlight metals, yeah. Alright. Now, these black knights can definitely be parried. respawn uh, but they don't I don't think they drop the black knight swords I think they just I think in here yeah this is uh... okay so this is a secret path so go through this down here is gonna be a mimic just checking to see if I have any type of uh, pale pine resin or I don't. So it's gonna be a legit fight. That's not a mimic. Neither one of these are mimics. Oh, this is Havel stuff. Okay. All right. Yeah, none of these are mimics actually. There is a mimic in here, but uh, this is all Havel stuff. Yeah, that's a mimic over there. It's a Havel's entire set. Uh, so... I'm gonna heal fully. He's got a reach on him, doesn't he? Mimics aren't really that t difficult to uh, fight. The yeah, occult club, nice. That'll work uh, pretty well. Probably turn that into a holy weapon if I can uh, for the catacombs. Mimics aren't that tough. They just uh, you, you just gotta keep your eyes open when you fight them. There is a skip that you can do. It sort of allows you to uh, get to the next area. That wasn't it. Maybe it was. No, that wasn't it. Okay, so... I forget how to do the skip, but there we go. Oh, I almost had it. Anyway, we'll go through the whole level, but that's the skip if you want to do it. I think this is a mimic too. It is. All right, so let's check around just to make sure. Okay, that's a uh, arrow knight, and I 
think. That's a Mimic too. Alright, so we'll take out both Mimics first. Heal up a little bit here, and then uh, we'll give it a good whack. Another one. Another one. Dodge. One, two, stagger. One, two, dead. Gold coin. So that's used for finding um, rare items. All right, so next mimic. One, one, two. treasure stuff. I forget if this guy is the only guy in here. I think he is. I can't believe I got that parry. That's the demon guy. We're not going to kill the demons. We don't really use those types of weapons anyway. Uh, we could kill them. But to be honest, uh, the reward is not worth the risk, in my opinion. Alright, that's just a preview of where we're headed. I heard that. Who's chasing me? There's someone downstairs. If I remember right, there's a guy over here somewhere. I guess I'm remembering wrong. That's definitely a Black Knight, so we'll get him to come out. If we can. I just pulled my shield out just for a little bit of extra protection there. Just because these guys are a little bit more unpredictable than I like. Uh, but it's really, like, it's not that bad. Okay, so here we have um, an Arrow Knight. So what we need to do, right, is we need to get over there, but first we need to kill this guy. So the first thing we're going to do... Ah, 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 ah. Backstab on him. That was less than ideal, doing it like that. So we could just wait let this happen. Or...
we can go in and kill him. Pretty much that simple. Yeah, we got some arrows. Nice. Alright, um... Jeez, I keep thinking I hear things behind me. Alright, uh, so let's go down here real fast. Okay, that's the Onion Knight. This is going to be, uh, the, basically his quest that we need to do. I'm going to go check the top here real quick first before we get there. Just to see, because I can't remember which way I'm actually supposed to go up here. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. So the Onion Knight, we'll do the Onion Knight first because that's going to be our shortcut. And uh, also, um, we'll be able to get right back up here fast. And this is how you, you uh, can get through that area that I said there was a skip to. by the Silver Knight. Oh, don't be ashamed. There's the fate of vanguards like you and I. I'll think of something. We can overcome this together. This is quite a fix. We need another three, no, maybe five bodies. Hmm, quite a fix indeed. This is quite a, we need a Okay. So that's all of his dialogue. So now, basically, what I need to do is go in here. Oh god! Yep. So this is pretty much worst case scenario having this guy in here. One, two, uh... Oh. That guy, this is less than ideal doing it like this. You don't really want to do this. But, uh, okay, so there's less. One more guy here. So, do the backstab, follow up with a heavy, and then you can light attack. Well, anyway, so we'll get the uh, chest that's not a mimic. See the chain? Let's point it away. Demon Titanite. That's what you get from killing the uh, those demons that I was telling you about. Uh, but they're used to um, empower other weapons that I'm probably never going to use. So, anyway. Well, there. We have saved Siegfried, and now... Uh... Hmm. 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 Oh-ho! What's on your mind, friend? Wait. You defeated those monsters? Fantastic. I'm saved. This knight of Katarina hereby commends you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Another, um... <laughs> gallantry entails great risk. Another hit point ring. Give me a chance to come up with a plan. But be warned... Next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's happy, but he's not happy. That's pretty much the story of Dark Souls in a nutshell. Alright, uh. So 
that. So that is that. So there they, he is again. Uh, yeah, let's go kill this guy now. So now, uh, you're pretty much free to go back and use the bonfire if you'd like. Um, not a whole lot of reason to do it right now for me personally. Uh, I do, there's some, some things that I do want to get done here. So, uh, for now, I'm going to actually, uh, head right back up. And, uh... Eventually, I am going to have to go and farm some humanity, um, and that's going to be not so fun, the not so fun humanity farm. I won't be putting that in this playthrough, because it's boring and it's whale shit. That's the demon. Whoa! Hello! Oh god, he still hit me. Bastard. So I'm going to use humanity pretty much to heal until I decide it's time to save at the bonfire. But for now, uh, what's going to happen? I'm going to go up and around, and we're going to go talk to our giant friend and open up the shortcut. That's one way to get there. We're not going to do that, though. We're going to take this way. Not sure if that will ever get old. chunk <clears throat> and open the shortcut just in case we get screwed which we won't but you know things happen purchase here is where we can purchase our twinkling titanite and that's what you use to upgrade the black knight weapons you can also purchase more of your arrows I 
and you can purchase the giant armor. I'm going to try to get this I'm pretty sure. 142. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be better. Yeah, it is. Just a little bit, but it is better. We'll have to see. Pretty good. Those things are quite agile for being as big as they are. guy gonna try to kill me or something? I don't think so, dude. So yeah, this is where basically uh, the Twinkling Titanite farm begins. Um, Open up one more shortcut, and we're going to call this an episode. Oh, baby. Ah, uh, now how did that hit me? That's the real soul farm right there, these guys. Alright, so, um, let me get this opened up here. This is the real shortcut. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that pretty much 
leads you right straight back to the Firekeeper Shrine, which is probably what we'll we'll get after we uh, beat this last guy here. So uh, there's that. We'll head back on over to uh, the good shrine, quote unquote. And we will call it there. In the next episode, uh, we will definitely be taking on. Another boss fight, or two, probably two, and uh, we'll be getting, we'll be unlocking fast travel. So that'll make things a lot, a lot easier in this game. But yeah, super fun, really, really cool game, uh, and. Uh, let me suggest that if you do end up farming those um, those serpents and you get this weapon, I would suggest upgrading it because it is a, it uh, definitely is a step up from the uh, the battle axe that I was using there for a second. Doing more damage is a little slower, uh, but it's doing more damage. So you could also go and repurchase the crystal sword if that's what you want. So there are options. Uh, for you. I think what we're going to do now here is we're going to um, level up. We're going to level up our what? Is it resistance? Yeah. No. no. Actually, you know what? We're not going to level up. No. We're going to leave things the way they are for now. If you made it here without being a subscriber, please consider subscribing. It definitely helps out the channel. If you found this video uh, fun to watch, informative or whatnot, consider leaving a like. That also helps support the channel um, and uh, helps me create more because I know you guys like it. So, uh, yeah, take care. Happy Dark Soulsing. Later. <laughs>